drop, gonna drop. So what do you think about what uh, Tone was saying? Pun has not been able to rest because of all the tumultuous beef back and forth and, and mean, how it's not about the music. Man, roll a clip. So what I'm saying, our brother Pun been resting for a long time, or has he? It is us that keeps a spirit at, at on ease when he sees his loved ones fighting and disputing things that are really irrelevant to the big fact that the only one hearing the noise is the community and not him. And he can never come back for them to do him right and to fix the wrongs they did. The way we could honor Pun, Cuban, Fat Joe, all of us is to sit at a table and squash that dumb shit and say where we hurt and where we mad and maybe we'll never talk again, but we'll never divide our community again over our differences. Cause two damn men's difference of an emotion should not divide a young generation in rap music of who's good and who's bad. That's not the subject. Are we gonna move on forward? and honor his name with a unity and respect. And where we stop arguing this foolishness of what's happening in a time where pun is never gonna benefit from what the fuck we're doing right now. Or, you know, moving the legacy ahead, but it's more about what has transpired. He's a leader, he's a leader. So he's supposed to think like that. He's supposed to have that thought. Uh, that's the sentimental part of it. Um, that's the, um, that's him letting, uh, you know, letting me know, uh, to watch, uh, well, not even, what I got from him saying that was for me, like, cause this is the truth by me going, just like I did with Tony Sunshine, by me going to the length that I'm going to, and you know, I'm telling the truth by now, right? You know, I ain't going to cap about what I'm saying. So, and you know, I have the right to say what I say. He said it. He said, yeah, he's in pain. He's hurt. When he says that, I don't think it like it's a soft, it's nothing soft. Because that's a man that went through and he said what he did. And similar to what he see me going through. He saw that in his life. He was Joe once. That's what he said. And he had to make amends because that made him shine brighter. That made his inner self get stronger. That made him become the great leader that he wants to always to become. That's something he had to do to, to, to grow up, to, to really see, to have, um, to put himself in other people's shoes so he could understand and relate to them more and feel their pain because we are a team. His, his people is his, is his people that he's trying to see, uh, move up and be better in the future. So he's doing it for that type of sense. So when he says he sees the pain in, um, uh, and it is pain, it's pain. But it's pain of I kicking myself, you know, kicking myself for for a lot of things. I'm not even gonna go. I think I told you enough. But I really get disappointed at me at the end. Even though other people, you can't stop other people from doing you wrong, but you can stop you from having that that type of behavior where you invite. You're so inviting for people. You're so naive and, and them, them not doing you wrong, uh, being naive of, of just because, you know, we spend this time together, you my brother, you know, just because we, I saw your, your kids and I stood with your kids and we went to dinner and we spent so many countless dinners together and we shared time with each other so close that you supposed to be my brother like that. That's, I mean, I'm saying that about me, but anybody could get caught in that. People get caught in shit like that. You know, um, so I still blame myself more for getting caught acting like that saying to give people um but that's part of who i am so i'm really in a fight with myself you know what i'm saying because yeah. i can't i never changed because that happened to me i never stopped being unsocial yeah i did more things to like physical stuff to people that deserved it i always kept that in my head they gotta deserve it give it to them because i know that if you do that shit karma gonna come back if you do that shit on some bully shit start healing you do anything negative and that, and that on, on some more like selfish shit for evil shit Gonna come back to you. I always believe that. So that's why I make sure when I give it to somebody something. Then I started really preamping, you know, you know, because you, when you're in war, you gotta start preamping. Okay, who's on your side? Who's not on your side? And you gotta do what you gotta do. So sometimes I did do that, but they deserved it. 
because I'm a fucking uh, nar- uh, narcissist or I think. Of, but no, you know, certain situations cause for diff- different re- measures, you know, certain measures. So, yeah, I went through that. Um, at the end of the day, a confrontation, a real talk, a real fight, fair fight, a real understanding of this nigga you see here is a man, honorable, real nigga man, talented. Uh, not to say that you gotta, I got to be in your level of talent. You can think whatever you want, but give me the respect that I deserve, that I put in, that I work for. Do not cheat me by denying me, denying my work. Because I used to be under your umbrella Undeniable. and things like that. And that's what he's done. And, and those traits to me are of a fucking rat, of a snake, of a fucking, a, a fucking, you know, a vermin. He's a vermin. Like, like those are, those are, unre- those are uh, I detest those uh, things. Like somebody who thinks they're better than you because maybe they got more money. Maybe they feel they, they live bougies, whatever they want. Those people, I never liked in my life. Racist people, people that just don't like another person because of a color of this. I hate those type of niggas. Now we can't feed into the same thing. We can't give that same energy back to those. When I say hate, I mean I, I hate it because I wish that they didn't have that trait. So it's how the solutions are what. It's another thing I did when I, when I through my transformation as far as like you know what I'm saying through a couple area telling you solutions. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we get stuck with problems so many times. And I said, I'm not going to be in fuck a problem. You know what I'm saying? What's a problem? Like, yo, it's the problems. Oh, I don't like problems. Like, problems is what? Find a solution. Always think of a solution. Don't get stuck in a problem where that shit stresses you, makes you sick inside. You know what I'm saying? Gets you, made you age more. You know what I'm saying? Try to live a your life as free as you could. And as, 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 you know, do what you want from your heart more. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy the people you have around you. Make those choices very smartly, very, um, you know, sometimes selfishly. Fuck that. I had a right to be, to think selfishly because I've never been selfish in my fucking life before that as far as how other niggas been fucking selfish with me. So I'm being selfless and other niggas are acting like, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 they play me. My own people are fucking playing against me. And, and, I didn't see how he was hurting me until, you know what I'm saying? You had, I had that conversation with myself and God, God opened my eyes to that. You know, he took the blindfold off the third mind. I mean, third eye. 